So when you are at the machine, you just need to check that there's two threads coming out to the left hand side. So you've got one coming from the top, so it comes all the way from the top and it gets threaded through the back, gets threaded up underneath this little one and hooks onto a little arm that's tucked on in here. And then it comes down and it goes on the right hand side through this little bar and then through the left hand side on this little tiny little hook that leads it down to the needle and then gets threaded through the needle so that one needs to be there also there needs to be one coming from the bottom so that's your bobbin and that makes sure that when you are sewing the two stitches hold together please make sure those are nice and long because when you sew what happens is the machine sort of pulls the thread through and it kind of pulls it in quite a lot. So if you have it really, really short, what happens is it gets pulled in and then it comes out of the needle and then you have to stop and thread your needle again, which can be quite frustrating, okay? When you're at your machine, you always need to do a test piece first. These are the test pieces and you will find them in this orange box around the classroom. You only need one and take one around with you um, during the class. So every single time you come to a machine, you need to do a test piece. Really, really, really important because you don't want to make, muck up your piece of sewing. It's better if you make a mistake on these things. So when you come to doing your test piece, you need to place the material underneath the foot. Okay. Now, behind on the back of these machines and I will just show you here so on the back of these machines there's this lever okay this lever for some reason is really highly sprung which means that it's it's quite hard to put down gently so you have to really hold on to it to lower it down gently if you drop it down like this and make that noise what happens is that the mechanisms in here get dislodged and moved and then it won't work properly. So we just need to be gentle with that and make sure that you hold on to it tightly and you lower it down gently. Okay, so you put your piece of material underneath, you lower, hold and lower it down gently, okay, and then you are ready to begin.